Hey! All right, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to calculate your calories so you can get started on your flexible dieting journey and achieve your fat loss goals. So first, I'm gonna go into what a calorie is because it's kind of a good thing to understand why and what you're tracking, right? So a calorie is a unit of energy and just the same as you would use a mile or a kilometer to measure distance, a calorie is used to measure the amount of energy in your food. So your body requires a certain amount of energy every single day to basically keep you alive. Um, so whether it's just digestion, the beating of your heart, your breathing, um, or exercise, you know, or your day-to-day -day activities, your body requires a certain amount of energy through food every day to keep you alive. So what determines whether you lose fat or whether you gain fat or whether your body weight just stays the same is your overall energy balance. So if you eat too many calories or more than what your body needs in a day, those extra calories are gonna get stored for later as body fat. And if you do this on a consistent basis, those stores are gonna build up and that's how fat gain happens. So it doesn't happen overnight. It's something that happens consistently over time. So same thing with fat loss. If you eat less calories than what you need in a day, your body's gonna use up uh, fat stores or muscle, um, which is why we keep our protein high to make sure that doesn't happen as much. But it'll go to those fat stores and use that to make up that energy that it needs. So this is a calorie deficit and this is what's required to lose fat. So if your calories are the exact same, if you're taking in the same amount of calories that your body needs in a day, this is how you maintain your weight. And this is somewhere where you wanna be once, you're fat, once you've lost all your fat uh, back into maintenance, but that's a whole nother video. So now that you understand what a calorie is, you know you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, we're now gonna calculate your calorie deficit, your calorie target, okay? So first things first, we're gonna determine your goal body weight. So I want you to be realistic here. If you're 200 pounds, don't set your goal body weight for 120. Um, you wanna be more like maybe 175, like start a bit higher and take it in chunks. The reason being is you want your calories to be higher at the beginning because eventually after periods of dieting, our bodies adapt, they catch on and you won't be able to lose fat at those same calories anymore. You'll maintain your weight and then you have to drop it lower. Um, so you want your calories to be as high as possible at the beginning of your fat loss journey so you have wiggle room to pull from. Um, so be accurate, like be realistic with your goal body weight, okay? I've put 150 here, um, just as an example. So with that number, we're gonna multiply it by 12, okay? This is a really simplified calorie calculator. There are some ones online you can Google that may be a bit more accurate where they factor in your height and your activity level and you know base it on your BMR and your RMR and all this. Um, but it's really like a 5% difference between accuracy and I don't want you to get so tied up with this number um, that it has to be this perfect number. It's just a starting point. It's somewhere to start. You collect data, you see if it's working, and if it's not, you pull back, um, you know, and you can adjust as a court, like adjust as needed. So we're keeping it simple. Um, so you're gonna multiply this number by 12, okay? And here I've gotten 1800. So the last step is to create a calorie range for you. Um, rather than trying to hit 1800 on the nose every single day, we wanna add a bit more flexibility because the more flexible you are, the more you're gonna be able to adhere to your adhere to your diet. And the better adherence, the better chances of you hitting your goals. So you're gonna add 100 to your calorie target and you're gonna take 100 from your calorie target to give you your range. So your range would then be 1700 to 1900 calories daily rather than 1800. It's okay if you hit 18 every single day. It's okay if you hit 19 every single day. You just wanna be within that range, okay? Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out anytime. I know this is like a simplified calculator, but I like to keep things simple because there's already a lot of other stuff going on in the world and we want things to be easy as possible, right? So yeah, reach out anytime if you have any questions. Uh, you can 
email me. I'll pop my email in the description of this video. And subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Uh, I will be posting more videos more often.